So Cybertruck rust, you probably heard about a rust issue, maybe a disastrous embarrassment for Tesla and worse for Cybertruck owners. And maybe you already know there's actually some truth to the rust. But I was like, nah, I'm okay. But the weirdest thing, my random car wash short got over one and a half million views. And like, 10 million comments about rust. Did I start to panic a little bit, wondering if this was true? I really wanted to just know if I was in trouble. So I got a loan, I read the fine details about the warranty myself, and I was like, uh, more concerned actually than before I read the warranty. But uh, more on that in a minute. Without hearing about four wheel steering again, I wanted to just get right down to the point. Was TARS going to be okay? I envisioned a micro battle, but with a macro lens, rust, the destroyer of all unprotected metals versus the new contender, this bartender's friend stuff. I've heard about it. The real problem to me, I love the car wash. And I mean, it's quick, it's easy, it's cheap. Would this cause the truck of my dream to rust? So I watched a video trying to convince me it wasn't a big deal, but I wanted to see for myself. I couldn't see the rust spots in the other video. And I wanted to watch the rust spots disappear with my own eyes before I choose a side in this rust debate. So I figured I need to be the one to make this micro macro rust shot video. I'm going to capture the rust spots and this battle in full frame. I was going to expose this one way or another. Earlier, I got caught up in the FUD and I was actually worried, authentically worried. I had trusted Tesla. I waited four years for my truck and now the owner of a vehicle that was going to rust out or cause me all kinds of extra work to avoid rust. Was I duped? It was only with the Sony macro lens that I was able to capture the rust spots like never before. Just like early cancer cells, it didn't really matter the size. It's the unknown about the future impact of incurable rust. If I can't remove it now and completely, then the micro size is still a macro concern. I really had no idea what the struggle was going to be like, but I wanted to find out for the first time on camera. I was excited as you are to see what will happen. So this barkeeper's tender's friend is an ancient acid cleaner that required proper timing, proper rubbing pressure, but I've been going to the car wash for years, always in a rush. Now I'm supposed to clean the truck, rub this stuff on gently for a maximum of one minute with a damp cloth and strictly wash it ASAP or it's going to eat into the metal. Okay, whatever, no problem. And I'm going to film this with two cameras by myself on my first try. Okay, lol. And I thought if I could actually remove these rust spots while holding an extra camera and exposing TARS to the world while cleaning, I realized that paying attention to the FUD was more work than this. What was I doing with my time? Worrying? It's like other things that capture our mind and attention but aren't worth our time. Realizing it's no fun spending my time in a fake reality based on fear. Worrying about the rust, it was my reality for a little while, but the choice to act and face it head on produced a result that I didn't expect. I started to feel like I had truly and completely overcome my worries, but it was FUD disappearing just like these rust spots. Experiencing the ease of taking care of these spots and kind of enjoying the hand washing experience like back in the day when $10 was way too much to spend on a car wash for me. Feeling like I was defeating this internet villain of FUD. Not a individual but just this FUD that was spreading and selling the news. It was fresh and kind of therapeutic. Unexpectedly fitting my channel vibe. So having taken on this rust villain and having a true understanding of its weakness like smashing pots on Fortnite, I backed off my efforts. I, I know a bot when I see it. And feeling clinical I decided to select the driver's side of the hood for observation. No barkeeper's friend treatment will be used here. I may leave it for a few months maybe a year and report the results later. Reporting on the results later may prove useful to determining a precise treatment plan. Even with a good medicine, let's avoid overuse. It's clear that the magnification of a small issue like rust spots detracted from the bigger picture. The Cybertruck represents a significant step forward in electric work vehicles in the right direction and in my opinion. Was this FUD exploded by other truck manufacturers or owners like me who were truly worried when hearing Cybertruck rust? Anyway, about the warranty, Tesla specifically covers warranty rust, but only if it originates from inside out and completely through. So knowing that I can take care of the outside, I felt pretty good knowing that Tesla had me covered from the inside out. 